on everybody, DJ Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel. Bob some bills, baby. Bob some bills, that guy. Today we got 73 mods on the testing list. A surprise mod update dropped late yesterday. And we've got eight modders to talk about, including some more container mods heading our way from Hispano Modding. Take a look. Starting off with the mods and testing, today we have 73 mods on the testing list. 51 are in stage one or PC testing, and 22 are in console testing or stage two. Some notable mods in PC testing include the MAN Brantner Pack, Switchable and Colored Lamp Set. That sounds interesting. And the TLX Phoenix series. Also in PC testing, we have Lumberjack, Rally's Map V44X, Alaska Garage, and DEF Production. Rounding out PC testing, we've got Slatted Cow Shed, Service Vehicles Pack, Helix 2022 Series, and Split Mountain Ranch. Jumping down to console mods and testing, we've got some notable ones like the Silo Container, John Deere 7M Series, and the American Styled Speed Bump, of course. And rounding out console testing, we have Cherry Box Mart, Traffic Light Trailer, Standard Containers, and the Planet Modular BGA. With all that being said, we still have 151 mods city waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time newly submitted mods is about 10 work days. In addition to all of the mods that were released yesterday, a last minute update dropped later in the day, Lands of La Mancha. This is version 1.3 of the map. Two new products were added. Garlic cultivation was added, added garlic harvesting machine, added sorted garlic factory. New roads added, added the flour mill, and new save game required to enjoy all of the new changes. This is a cross-play map, so if you're playing on it, make sure you guys update and start a new save. Jumping over to Bonner News, and we've got a few updates from Hispana modding, starting with a new mod, the Load King Containers Super B. The 20-foot version of the mod is almost finished up and will be getting other versions too, as Hispana says that they will be for all sizes of containers. So 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, at 45 foot options. There will be available four different configurations who have the front non-tipping, rear non-tipping, front tipping, and rear tipping. Additionally, he does say that the flat rack and standard containers are pending. We've got one of those in testing today, at least as of last night, and he expects a release sometime this week, so sometime in the next three days, but we'll have to wait and see about that one. Next, we hear from 40 Monty, who says their Heston Baylor will be accepted with the higher poly count by Giants or consoles on the mod hub. They still need to make a few edits to textures, but other than that, should be good to go for release. However, do keep in mind that with higher quality poly count comes higher slot counts. Either way, it's gonna be totally worth it. Custom Modding's Valmetal Max Track Duratec trailer is now officially with Giants awaiting testing. They've been teasing this trailer since I think last early December. And by last, I mean 2021. Uh, but the wait is finally almost over. Back then it was called the James Way and it has come a long way since then. Bad pun on words. <laughs> All we have to do now is wait. A few quick updates from Mac Trucker 921 today as his maps East Vineland and Eastern North Carolina both went into testing yesterday and were on the testing list today. And his stone picker did fail testing on a few smaller things, but it's been fixed and resubmitted for testing for all platforms. So Vertex say that their Lizard Tandem series is almost ready to go, and today we've got a few new screenshots of the largest version in the pack and how it looks with their new planters. Shown as the Tandem Flex 39,000, which is capable of taking up to three planters of 13 rows and making it all into one large planter. Of course, there will be some smaller versions, and some of them fold up into transport mode to make it easy to get on the road with them. This is a very cool idea and a very diverse pack. Bappers Paradise are back with us today to announce that their Welker Sheds and Monad Workshop will be coming as placeables for all platforms on the mod up so that you guys can use them on any map that you want to. This came about as someone had done this and released them on third party sites, which is a no no. Don't be doing that. So, Mappers Paradise has stepped it up and say that they made it for all to enjoy. They're working on these right now and should be with Giants soon. Speaking of maps, Gamer Designs has officially submitted his map, the interior, for testing for all platforms as well. They made a few changes from the previous versions. If you've played it before, they've added a new sawmill, tons of new textures, new store, replaced several buildings to be more suitable for the mod hub, replaced all the trees, did some terrain work, added a couple new cell points, and a few other things that players are sure to enjoy. As the waiting time is a little bit high right now, it may be a few weeks before we see it on the testing list, but I'll keep you posted. And lastly today, Mr. Hector has found another problem with collisions on Carpathian countryside. It says that they are not being rewritten correctly. So like when you sell pre-placed buildings and you want to place down something else instead, sometimes that just doesn't work. He knows what the problem is and he's working on fixing it right now. It will be coming with the upcoming crossplay update version 101 
And because this is an important matter, he will be submitting the update sooner than we thought within the next week, he says. However, it is important to note that with this update comes the need for a new save game. He was trying to avoid it, but with this new collision issue, it was unavoidable. Well guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. So I had a weird breakfast this morning. I, I had a salad with chicken and Italian dressing. That's not breakfast.